Um, yes. So you you like the part? I like the part because he's he's, he's a lunatic. Um, although the, what we've what we've done with it is he has a, he has a turn at the end, you know, which is very interesting. And uh, well, he's just brutal. If somebody's been brutalised by the whole system. I work in an abattoir. I'm an abattoir worker. What is an abattoir worker? Slaughterhouse to you. Got it. You got a problem with that? Because I want to be straight with you right from the off. Because I get a bit of stick from people nowadays. What with the internet and this now and that. It's a family business, so I grew up in it. It ain't pretty. It ain't pretty at all. Well, would you expect it to be sweet and nice as pie? Because I, I, I thought of you, A, because you're brilliant. <laughs> Darling, tell them about that. <laughs> but, but B, um, because you were, a, you were a lovely carnivorous chap. And <laughs> I, well, I can't be because he ate meat, yes. Well, because I thought to play a slaughter man, it would be kind of good to have someone who understood liking meat. Yeah? Sure. And then what did you go and do? Well, I, I gave up meat. <laughs> it's your fault, you, you swine. Go on, explain. <laughs> me give up meat. Explain. Uh, yeah, it was, it, was, it was basically becoming aware of what the meat industry is. And, and some of the, that footage you sent me was shocking. And I know now, three, four years later, it's, it's readily available online. Was that the abattoir footage? Yeah, the, abattoir, the abattoir stuff and also in the little pig farm with the pigs getting their teeth pulled out and their tails cut off and, and their heads being dashed on concrete and you go, oh my God, I mean, if we're going to eat meat, why do we have to treat animals like this? Let alone what that particular farm was doing with their animals, you know. Um, so that, that was shocking. And my, my giving up meat wasn't... a it wasn't a quick process. I didn't just make up my mind overnight. We filmed that. When did we film that? Around June time. Yeah, June 2016. Yeah. I gave up in, it was a series of kind of, of circumstances really for me. I, I gave up in the, Jan, the next January, but every time since I did that film, I would sit in a restaurant and order a piece of meat. I could not get these, these images out of my mind. Sharon was away. She was away in Korea making a film, funnily enough, Okia, which is about the meat industry. Right. It was in Cannes when I went there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, and um, and, and she, they eat a lot of meat in Korea. It's kind of, and she find it very hard to, she was pescatorian, if that is a thing. You know, she ate, she ate fish and vegetables and has done for nearly 30 years now. But she found she just couldn't stomach the fish anymore. So she went, on a plant-based diet while she was over there. And then they came back at Christmas time. They joked with me. They said they were going to get a vegan chef in and make to do Christmas dinner. So I'm going to have a bit of turkey. No, 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 you're not. I'm going to have my turkey. It's Christmas. I'm having my turkey. So responsibly, I went and got an organic turkey, you know, responsibly farm, blah, blah, blah. It was tiny. It was a tiny little turkey. And I felt really sorry for it as I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of going, yeah, all right. Um, it will taste great. And you, you know when you bash it up for half an hour before, well, you probably don't, probably don't remember, but you, you, you give it a blast, you nuke it for half an hour beforehand, then you turn it, I forgot to turn it down, so the thing shrank. The thing shrank and there's this tough old bird which I sat down to at Christmas dinner. And I thought, what am I doing here? What am I, what really, what am I doing here? This, this is not a pleasant experience. I'm only, I'm only eating this because out of kind of, Ego, really, I suppose. And Why ego? Well, I don't know. It's just like because of, of, of what I wanted from my Christmas meal, you know. Right. And the girls, the girls were, were eating their vegan food, and it's, and it's delicious, of course it is. And um, so, come January, come the new year, I, I gave up, and that was over three years, three and a half years ago now. 
And is that so, meat and dairy or? Yeah, meat and dairy, yeah. It's funny because I'd given up dairy a long time before. Oh, had you? Coincidentally, I, I also, my next job was a short film um, and we filmed on a dairy farm in oh. winter, it was January. And um, a, everything's covered in, because all the cows are in sheds, everything's covered in, in kind of three or four inches of slurry. So the whole place stinks and it's dirty and it's messy. And even in the farmhouse, you know, it's dragged into the farmhouse. So you basically eat shit. You're kind of ankle deep in shit the entire time. But there I was wandering around the count of pens and there was this old cow there which was going bald. It was losing her hair because she was old. And I happened to say to one of the guys on the farm, I said, oh, she's old. Said, oh, you'll have to get rid of her soon. I said, pardon, I will have to shoot her. She said, because if she drops dead, it costs us 200 quid to have her removed. It's only 100 quid. It's only 100 quid if, you know, if we do it. So I went, okay. And I walked around the farm a little bit more and, and there were the... the the cows that are just calved and they and, and we know now that they're separated at the moment of birth basically within a few minutes and but they were at the end of in both different ends of the sheds and the, and the calves were crying and the cows were crying not only bellowing but they had tears in their eyes because they could see each other but they couldn't have any contact and i thought i can't no i can't do this anymore i can't really drink milk it's, it's it's a horrible thing now a few years ago i went on i went on a more alkaline diet and with the with the nutritionist stephen ferguson he said the worst things you can eat really are meat and and dairy is the second thing you should not be eating as a human being he is the most qualified nutritionist in the world he's got more letters after his name than anyone else did he say why because it's unhealthy nutritionally it's unhealthy i mean we all know well most of us know that we shouldn't be drinking cow's milk it should be left for the cows what why 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 humans drinking bovine lactate you know 